Okay, what we're going to demonstrate today is uh, how you can test for water and oil and, and uh, how these Raycor Aquabox can strip out some of that moisture. We've got some oil here that uh, is definitely not bad oil, but it's cloudy. And cloudy oil is generally indicative of a little bit of moisture in there. What we're going to do is we're going to pour some of that oil in here. Get a paper towel, try to pretend like we're going to stay clean. Let's hold that up and get a shot of that. As you can see, it's nice and liquid, uh, a little bit dark, but it's cloudy and we don't have any clarity. And so we've got a hot pan here being powered by the sunshine. We've got our solar generator providing power for this test. And that pan is pretty hot. We're going to give it a little second to warm up. We've got our pan hot. We look, we're at about 311 degrees right now. And uh, so that's plenty hot to give this pan test a try. If you notice, we got a little snap, crackle, pop going on here. You can see the little bubbles forming. What that is, that's the water that's in the oil boiling off. Let's go ahead and add the rest of this. See that we've got bubbles forming and that there's there's definitely some moisture in that oil. Now what's happening is is because of that heat, it's uh, turning to steam and causing those bubbles to float to the top. So we'll let that stay hot for a little while until it quits bubbling. We've pretty much got most of the bubbling stopped. It's not uh, no snap, crackle, pop. There's still a few bubbles, but uh, there's no. Uh, popping of the uh, water molecules essentially exploding. Let's see if we can uh, pour some of this oil into this cup without creating a horrendous mess here. Okay, that wasn't too bad. Now if we we'll look, look at the clarity of that oil. That's some of the aeration rise to the top, but if you remember from earlier, there's actually clarity in that oil and you can see through it fairly well. Starting to clear up real nice. Okay, and we got some good oil. So what uh, what we want to do now, turn our pan off so we don't start a little fire. And uh, what we've got over here is our one-shot filtration system and, and uh, we've got our same container of oil. What I'm going to do, put a brand new Aquablock filter element in there. Now, these uh, filter elements are made by Raycor who happens to also make the filter elements that go in the Duramax and the Power Stroke diesels. And uh, these elements are chemically treated with the substance that's supposed to repel water. And uh, although this is a filter element and it's not magic, if you pump pure water you can't get good fuel to come out the other end. It's been our experience that they will strip out a significant amount of water. And so what we're going to do, whether it's free water, whereas you've got the stratification, stratified uh, water and oil, or uh, if it's water that's kind of mixed in with the oil like we, we saw in the pan test. So we've got an empty filter here. You'll notice that the bowl doesn't have but just a drop in it. I'm going to put a new element in. Screw the lid on. So what we're going to do is we're going to uh, stick this suction tube in this oil here and uh, we're going to turn it on and we're, it's going to take a while to prime that filter up and then we're going to let it run for a little bit and make sure that we got good oil coming out of there and that there's nothing residual left in the hoses and that we're definitely pulling out of this and then we'll put some in our, in our cup here. going to do now is go ahead and turn this on and uh, fill up that bowl and it's going to take a little while for that filter to fill up and once we have some oil coming out the end and we know it's representative of what's out of there we'll take a sample. Let me go ahead and turn this hot plate on and get it started.
Here comes the milky oil. Definitely cloudy, can't see a whole lot through it. Now, that, that will clog up that filter fairly quickly. Uh, there's, it's got a lot of stuff to strip out, but the point that we're trying to make here is that this will protect your engine. Alright, the pump just bit. It's definitely now pulling the oil. Let's get some fuel coming out of there. Alright, that jug over there is about halfway down. So we know that we're definitely getting that. Let's go ahead and pull a sample. Alright. We'll let this uh, settle down a bit. I think that you can see right off the bat I should have kept a... Well here I still can. We can see the clarity difference. Let's let that set a little bit. There's our our oil after we cooked it in the hot pan. Let's go ahead and get rid of that. Pour it in our discharge bucket over here. And uh, let's pour another sample of this oil. Now Let's uh, see if we can get the sunshine through it. I think that it's fairly obvious the one on the right, which has gone through the filter, has better clarity and it's not near as milky. But the real test is, is uh, putting it in this hot pan. Let's see what it does. Now look at that. We don't have any bubbles forming. No bubbles forming, but let's put this unfiltered oil in. Look at all those bubbles going snap, crackle, pop. Now I hope that that will put to rest some of the controversy out there whether or not a Raycor filter aquablock element will strip water out of the fuel because as we saw with a hot pan test, when we poured that oil in there, there was no bubbling or anything of the nature. Alright, our point uh, in shooting this little demonstration was we wanted to show you that the Raycor Aquablock elements do strip out small amounts of water. We're not claiming that you can take pure water and have good fuel come out, good oil come out the other end. What we are saying though is if you have inherently good oil that may have small trace amounts of water, either emulsified or free water, this element will strip it out as we showed in our hot pan test here. So if you would like to find out more about gathering and filtering good oil, please check out our DVD Liquid Gold that is sold on our website at www.goldenfuelsystems.com.